Hello all doing man 97 here on my SSBN 735 with Kersling and Cobalt Mantis. Um, we are currently in pursuit of an unknown target. We don't know what it is yet. And it keeps appearing on our wonderful passive sonar, which I will teach you how to use in this video. Um, I'm sure I've done a tutorial video here in the last year or so. But, you know, why not go over it again? So, uh, yeah, we're going to uh, stock it like crazy. So, the first thing you want to do for passive sonar is be at either slow or stop, because that's the only way to get a passive sonar reading. So as we slow down here, you're going to notice, A, we are tracking target A. Uh, class is unknown, speed and range are unknown as well. And range is, is, range is in blocks, and speed is from 0 to 14, based on what type of engines they're running, and uh, if they're moving or not. So always important, the longer you stay either going slow or stopped, um, it'll give you more information first class and then range and speed um, so it's a little uh, little mission of uh, stocking and hey that's what I do best ooh bravo we have a bravo contact as well um, and we still want A though actually let's go to B so we're gonna move to contact B and try to get some more readings on it once it pops up on here. So up on the top two signs, um, this is forward, this is right, this is behind you, and this is left. So right now, it is in between left and forwards, that little B that pops up every once in a while. So it is to our front left. It's more to the left than it is to the front because it's closer to 270 rather than our 00. zero. So hopefully that makes sense. It's the same thing as on the sonars here. I guess this one's easier to use. So the contact's right about there. That's middle. That's front. And that doesn't matter which way we're facing. It'll always tell us where it is based on where we're going. So we're going to wait here, get a couple more readings on B. Uh, once it pops up and hopefully we can uh, take it out all torpedo tubes are set up I've got my TDC set to periscope and depth zero and uh, yeah actually because it is more to our left I'm gonna go engines to ooh, a Nautilus submarine by a night ship class so we're going to go slowly and make a left turn. And there goes the night by the night. So we're going to move slowly. That we can get a little bit closer to it. But maintain um, enough that our sonars can get readings. Um, as you can see, we are at the very bottom of the ocean here. Fathometer is reading 15 blocks from the, bottle, from the bottom of my sub to the bottom of this ocean floor. I cannot use words but that's okay um, ballast tanks are equalized my boat is perfectly buoyant built with uh, tons of end stone to keep this big bubble down and we're gonna go stock after Bravo eh, lagging Mail read. Ah, <gasps> sure. Mail clear. And we're gonna go chase after it some more. So it was to our front left, and now it's to our front right. So yeah, we're going to stock it for a little bit. Um, if you don't know Helm Sign, it's very easy. We're heading 
south, which is 180, as you see up on our little, uh, where is it, facing south on F, up on F3. So that's 180. Speed is going 8 blocks, and we do 6 ticks a minute, so once every 10 seconds we move. We are in gear 2. These little hash marks mean we're going forwards. If I do like a rudder right, you'll notice that the wonderful little helm, those two little hash marks, hey look, now I'm ruddering right. If they're both arrows, I will be turning right. And DK, I'm not entirely sure what DK is, but uh, yeah. So let's see here. Periscope radio is disabled because we're underwater. The navigation sign, also very simple. Fathometer, we're 16 blocks from the bottom of the ocean. So that means the bottom of my sub is 16 blocks. Again, heading 180 south. And we are in grid DF negative 4, which if you have a grid map up of Naval Battle Zone, will tell you where we are. However, I don't think there is an active uh, or updated one of those. So I'm going to slow this party down and try to get another reading on Bravo. Oh, so uh, Mr. Cobalt is making a grid map. Sonar's not picking up anything super close, so that's okay. Ooh, there's D, and he is right in front of us. Ooh, he's getting closer. I saw him move up right about there. Let's see if we can get a reading here. It all depends on what boats are in the water. But they all seem to be uh, flocking around a little area, and that's where we're going to go find. And there's an E that is in front of us as well. Hmm. Let's take a look at E. Let me check. I do don't see anything very close to us. I see water, and that's about it. Let me go get another reading back here. Still looking at E, it's a solid contact. And we have no other readings on it. Let's see here. Hmm. All right, so I've got another crew man. Let's see if Aslad will be a wonderful guy, even if Aslan Aslad is online. Is he online? Mm hmm yes he is. Let's see if he's on the ship. Gunny. Still no more readings. Let's keep stalking them. And the nice thing is, is that we are uh, underwater. So if they do uh, see us before we see them, the cannons can't do anything to us. Because we're a ballistic missile submarine.
too bad. None of our ballistic missiles actually work. Um, there was at one time going to be a wonderful, uh, whatchamacallit, add-in to Naval Battle Zone for my ballistic missiles, but that was way too much work. Um, but yeah. I have no faction. That's okay. That's sealed. Good. I don't want water in here. Hey, who would have known that console is not in a faction? So we'll go for another 30 seconds here. Where's the front of the boat? As we get a little closer, I will surface just enough to get my head a little bit closer to the water. Let's go up one or two blocks here get to our beautiful torpedo depth where when I see them I can shoot them. Let's not drown. Alright, that should be close enough. to see if Gunny can get a kill. Alright, I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. Get a reading. He doesn't know where the torpedoes are. That's okay. He will follow me. He's going to like this torpedo room. Let me go back up and get my reading. Ooh, so many contacts. I still want to stock E though, because I know when I slow down I will find it. Alright, that one's sealed as well. I don't know how we got the points for that. But we did. I haven't launched any torpedoes. That was quite interesting. Nothing like killing a boat that you don't know what it is. Alright, now we have target G. I will gladly get some more readings on that. But at the same time, I really need to get closer to it. gonna try to speed up and catch up. And the good news is, is we have plenty of speed to do that. It goes from 0 to 14, or maybe 12, depending on the update of Naval Battle Zone. But I am still invisible. Ah, uh, who died?
He's going to supper. He must be British. Ooh, I know I'm near something because I'm starting to see wrecks on the bottom. So I am in the battle area now. But they still don't know I am here. Radar. And the boat was to my front right, so I'm going to start ruddering right a little bit. Ship, there's a helicopter up there, so I do want to stay out of his view. Alrighty. You can tell I'm getting near something now that there's collisions and dead stuff at the bottom. But there's still enough water that only a depth charge can hurt me. And people don't like to use depth charges because they are uh, very unreliable unless you know how to set them up the right way. Still contact G. Hmm. Holy crud, server announcements. Why so many server announcements? Holy crud. Ooh, now I have H and G. Eventually, it'll tell me what it is. Let's get a lot closer, see if we can hit anything. Alright. Wow, so many server announcements. pop up for a quick look around. I'm gonna take a quick look and then I'll go back down again because that's exactly how these work. Let's see here. Bingo. I still don't see anything. So many friggin' server announcements. Jeez. <laughs> Somebody, uh, made a quite an error to uh, server, server announcements. And that person would be Aslad. But that's alright. I've done it too. Ooh. Alright, that's a dead plane. That's a dead boat. Um. No! Alrighty, guys, we will be back.